Hi, my name is Lizzie. And I'm Shane. And we are here with Chef Jasmine Lucero, who has opened up her own store inside of Sunland Park Mall. What is the name of your store? It's called Cooking Time. Cooking Time. So you can come here, you can come uh, for a date night, you can come with your friends, and you can learn how to cook basically whatever you want. Yeah, it's a little bit of everything, honestly. Um, from healthy to like the most comfort food that you can get to your abuelita's recipes. Like that's literally like our like classic. traditional chile Yes, rellenos. that actually that we just made chile Oh my so, yeah. goodness, that's <laughs> so good. What gave you the idea to start doing this? Why did you do this know. business? You know what, El Paso doesn't offer anything like this. Nothing. Um, you want to learn cooking, you have to go two or three years in EPCC. Mm -hmm. That's like the shortest time mm -hmm. that you can get. But I wanted somewhere where people could come, chill out, like meet new people, eat some good food, but also learn something too, because people don't eat out. Like they eat out all the time, yes. you know? Yeah. And nobody cooks anymore. Especially in the city, we have a hard time. We only gym in El Paso. Right. And we have a hard time with people eating out all the time. You know, our clients, our clients, we tell them like, okay, you can make some, you know, spaghetti squash belly. I don't know how to cook. And so yeah. that's always a problem when you're trying to eat healthy. There's no way that you can eat healthy eating out all the time. Yeah, no, there's and no so way. So it's I want, great to come and yeah, learn something definitely. like this. Uh, and we just had that conversation about um, having stuff to do here in El Paso that doesn't require drinking, you know? Yeah. And this is a great way to bring your date or your friends, you know, make it like a group thing, you know? So yeah, something nice and relaxed yeah. too, that's not funny. Even if they do want to come and have some wine, I'm sure you have. Yeah, we have wine nights, too. we have mm -hmm. beer tasting nights. Like we still incorporate nice. that feel, right? But not like where you're just, so can't yeah. hear yeah. people, you know? It's mm -hmm. very homey. Yeah, That's nice. really cool. So for the first step, we're gonna go ahead and cut the squash, but we gotta find who has the bigger muscles here. Let's so see. let's see, let's see them. Right. Oh. I wanted to cut it. I wanted to cut it. Make okay. sure to cut it in a straight line. Straight okay? line. Straight okay. down. Perfect. Yes. Like this or sideways like this? No, no. no. Long so, ways. Okay. Yes. Perfect. Just make sure to kind of like move your finger away from the knife okay. because you do not want to cut the finger off. <laughs> yes. So if you use the tip of the your tip knife, to cut it. dig it's it in, uh -huh. right? All the way. Okay. And then pull it down. I didn't know it was going to be this hard. <laughs> I'm glad we chose to open it. My line is not straight at it's all. It's okay. It's okay. It's like cutting a pumpkin. Pie. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. Uh -huh. It does look like a pumpkin. It has the same texture. Yeah. It wow. definitely does. Yeah. So okay. then you're going to go ahead and start scooping out the seeds with your hands. Okay. Oh, with so, your hands. Okay. Yeah. Gonna get hands. down and dirty. Let's yeah, do with it. the hands. Do it better. Take one and I'll take yeah. the other. Uh -huh. um, but that's where the thing comes in. The trash can? Yeah. That's where oh, you have yeah. to. So let's put this. So she has these cute little buckets that you can put all of your trash in. This one says, life is what you bake with. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> so, so we're gonna get dirty? Yeah, just down so and dirty. All the, all the seeds have okay. to come out, yeah. This is a perfect date night. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> have fun with your couple getting dirty in the kitchen. We had pizza night not too long ago and there was flour everywhere. <laughs> People were throwing flour at each other. So fun. Do we get a spoon for the last things that we can get or just like that? Uh, just Do like that. Just make sure all the seeds are Oh, out. okay. That's yeah. the important part. Yeah. Okay. It's not completely like a pumpkin where you have to take out like the, str oh, the, the string okay. stuff. Just yeah. the seeds. Okay. Just the seeds. Okay. Smells like a pumpkin. Yeah, it really does. I think it's like part it of the has family a, of the pumpkin. Yeah, it is. It's not so much squash family, it's more of a pumpkin family. Mm -hmm. oh. Judy, you're making a mess. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> okay, great. Okay. So the next step, we're going to drizzle. Uh, we could put both of them on here, uh -huh. and then you guys can drizzle them with oil. This is just vegetable oil. Okay. okay? So you just want to do an even drizzle. Can you, if you're making this at home, can you do any type of oil or? Is it best to do vegetable oil? Vegetable oil or you know what? Avocado oil. It's really avocado good. Avocado yeah. All our do we spread yeah. it like that? Yeah, so you just <laughs> want to spread it all over. This is starting to look like 
the sexual free videos. <laughs> <laughs> Have you seen those? Yes. <laughs> I haven't. I don't know what you're watching. <laughs> I'm going to hand you guys some spices, yeah? Yes. Okay. We're going to do um, garlic, salt, and pepper. And these just twist off. They're like super easy. This is so cute. She has them up on a little magnet board and you can just grab them for whatever she tells you to put yeah, in, right? Super easy, super easy. So it's gonna be to your guys' taste buds. Mm -hmm. um, I add like two pinches of salt and then two of each actually. Okay. So if you guys awesome. wanna do that, you guys can do that. And you just spread it all over yeah. like that? Mm -hmm. just like make the sure. salt bay? Yes, salt bay. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> <laughs> You don't know how many people have tried yeah. to do that. Yeah, <laughs> I'm sure everyone. <laughs> I bet you everybody does it. Everybody. everybody. <laughs> I haven't seen that one before. <laughs> and some like actually get it too. <laughs> yeah. All yeah. oh, the garlic smells so good. Okay, great. So now we're just gonna rub all those spices in again. Mine looks more spicy than yours. Yeah. You should, you should put more pepper, yeah. yeah. So would you guys agree that like when people meal prep, they don't mm -hmm. use spices as much? Yes. Yeah, or they don't know how to use the spices, yes. you know, and then they think like they need to have a precise measurement of everything yeah, too, yeah. and they don't know like what measurements to use. So you would suggest like you just play around with it and kind of go by your taste buds. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Because everybody has different taste buds. If I tell you to put like a teaspoon of pop pepper, mm -hmm. what if you don't like as yeah. much pepper as she does? You know. Yeah. So I always tell everybody to your taste buds because, okay. I mean, I think measurements are overrated. Uh -huh. Personal. <laughs> That's <laughs> you know? what they say. Like most chefs, they don't. Yeah, use I don't oh, use any yeah. measurements. Yeah, whatsoever. Okay, great. So these are going to be popped into the oven for at 400 degrees mm -hmm. for 30 minutes. Okay. Awesome. All right. So what is the next step? So we're going to go ahead and turn on the pan because, you know, we can't cook. <laughs> <laughs> so medium high heat. Medium heat. Okay. Yeah. And you're going to drizzle the pan with just a little bit of oil. You do not want to over oil your pan okay. with turkey because it is disgusting. Mm -hmm. And like you said yeah. right now, a little bit more. you were mentioning turkey. That, that turkey doesn't need Perfect. a lot of oil yeah. too. Yeah, absolutely because turkey produces a lot of fat as it is, and they don't include a lot of fat in the turkey, but it doesn't need, yeah, it doesn't need more, a lot, yeah. So, so how long do you have to have that? So we're gonna let it heat up for about a minute, okay. you know? Um, normally I recommend putting the oil in after the pan heats up, but I like, for turkey, I like to put the oil in the pan. So it heats up together, and everything gets just the, thrown in at nice. the same time. Okay, but you want to go ahead and grab some basil. You can grab from over here. Yeah, some basil, some chili flakes, um, and a little bit of cumin. Yeah, which is a little weird. Wow, Not yeah. everybody uses cumin, like right? Cumin. Yeah. 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 So cumin, chili flakes, and basil. Yeah, absolutely. All right. It's gonna be so good. So good. <laughs> it smells good already. It smells so good. <laughs> so you can go ahead and test the pan just with a little piece of like turkey. Oh. Yeah. Like, you just throw with it my finger? No, 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 absolutely. Okay. <laughs> <Not>. <laughs> and once it starts to sizzle, notice how it's starting to bubble already on the side. Mm -hmm. um, once it starts to sizzle, you can add in the rest of it. Okay. Okay. So now it's starting to sizzle, so we can go ahead and put in the rest of the turkey. Okay. Just be careful because it jumps at you. You know, you got to be careful. Wow. Yeah, it's yeah. violent. <laughs> I burned myself But a you lot. know, you have muscles, so you got it, right? <laughs> So that wanna... doesn't protect you against burns. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> so, I, am I going to break yeah. it up like that? Okay. Break it up. Absolutely. And then you want to get that beautiful brown color that you're starting to see at the bottom of everything. Mm -hmm. um, that's going to be key. We have a, yeah, we have a flyer over there. So we're gonna add the non-dominant uh, spices first okay. because those attach itself to the meat mm -hmm. and you'll get them the most, which is what we want. And then these are our prominent spices, okay? Awesome. okay. 
So we're gonna do so to your taste. Yeah, okay. So chili flakes, cumin, and basil. Is cumin pretty strong? Should yes, I put Yes, it is strong. Oh, just a little so, bit. Okay. Just a little bit. I wouldn't recommend like huge pinches of cumin. I've never put cumin on turkey. It actually gives it a really yeah. good flavor, yeah. Really yeah. good flavor. You can tell just by the smell. Mm -hmm. Now basil. And basil. some basil and then some chili flakes. Now, if you like it spicy, mm -hmm. a few pinches. If you I, don't. I can't handle spicy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll do a little bit. <laughs> I can't even handle Taco Bell. Yeah. Oh, no. She gets hot with a Taco Bell. Oh, no. yeah. Not the way you talk about, but. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, see, okay. we got that on video, so now I think there's no going back. Okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So you're gonna break just it up. Mix it all up. Yeah, okay. just keep breaking it up. Uh, turkey's done really quickly. Yeah. So if you noticed, it's already halfway done. Mm -hmm. Turkey cooks thoroughly and quickly. So that's a good like meal prep uh -huh. thing. Yeah. Um, you want it done quick? Turkey. Like mm -hmm. I love doing turkey. Uh -huh. And ground yeah, turkey is actually very lean for yeah, people that is. To lose weight. Absolutely, and so. it's really lean. Yeah, we get the really huge thing from Sam's of ground turkey and just cook it all up in a huge wok at home. Yeah. So that we can just grab it for oh, different meals. I love meals. that. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. It only has five percent fat. Five percent. Mm -hmm. Like that's Super amazing. Lean. Amazing. Oh yeah. Amazing. Yeah. So now we're gonna go ahead and add in our prominent spices. Okay. So okay. salt, pepper, and garlic. And notice how these are the staples for most recipes. Uh, salt, mm -hmm. pepper. Maybe you should do the salt bait. <laughs> <No>? <laughs> yeah, good job. Like that. I think it yeah. It falls off your arm, yeah. supposedly, yeah. right? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and garlic. Should I do just like one pinch I'll of the garlic? Two. Two? Yeah. I feel like such a chef doing pinches. <laughs> <laughs> That's our measurements though. Yeah. Yeah, pinches, right. you know, a giant pinch, a small yeah. pinch, which one is it, you know? <laughs> okay. Okay, so now we're gonna keep breaking it up. And actually that's just, that's not even grease that's forming. It's mostly water that the turkey was retaining. Mm -hmm. And so. Oh, I was going to medium. She said medium to high. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Have to listen to your instructor. That's what the cooking class is for. Yeah, absolutely. Come on. <laughs> okay, I'll taste it. See if you really like it. Yeah, it's really good. Awesome, nice. awesome. Shane, you gotta taste, yeah, taste. you gotta taste it. Yeah, you gotta taste it. You can taste the cumin, but it tastes like super good. It gives it like a little unique flavor that not a lot of people use. Yeah. Mm. Like sausage. Yeah. yeah. But without the yeah. fat, you know. Yeah. 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 See, really like yeah, bring it's out so good. Okay, so I'm gonna put this in the bowl. Yeah, you're gonna okay. Good. And that's just like liquid. That's yeah, just it's water. water. Yeah. Like it's not even fat, nothing. So we're just gonna wipe off the outside of our pan. Yeah. Outside. Oh, yeah. Okay. Nice. You can go ahead and put that down. Yeah. And we're gonna move on to our next step. Okay. okay. We're going to get some crushed tomatoes. So I like using crushed tomatoes because it still has like the texture of the tomato. You don't completely lose it like with tomato sauce. Yes. Yeah. So I like to use crushed tomatoes and you can go ahead and already put that in there. And did you crush the tomatoes yourself or how do you get? Oh, don't I don't need the oil. oil. No, no oil. Follow instructions. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And how do you get this crushed tomato? You just buy yeah, it like you can already buy it crushed? In a can. Um, you can even make it at home. Just buy like some Roma tomatoes, mm -hmm. throw them in your blender quickly, and you get the same consistency. Yeah. A little more so, fresh. Yeah. So it's going to get nice and hot, but you're going to add the salt and pepper and garlic, the staples, right? Okay. It's better to do it this way than buying like just the can of yeah absolutely because marinara sauce. you know what you don't know what's going into your food anymore yes. like at all exactly you don't know a lot of preservatives to keep yeah, it I know. in the can and, and why mm -hmm. why eat those when you can do it fresh like yeah. absolutely fresh yeah mm, it smells so good <laughs> it's so I'm getting hungry the mouth is starting to <laughs> yes. water you know yeah <laughs> Okay, and then we're going to add some basil, okay? And that's it. So it's like a super simple sauce because you have all the flavor in the turkey, right? Mm -hmm. So 
the turkey adds a lot to it and mm -hmm. then we have the sauce and then we're gonna do the spaghetti squash and it's all gonna come together. Yeah, I'm in yeah. Wait. I'm so, so excited. Would you suggest that if somebody was coming to these classes, they come and like bring a notepad so they could take notes? Yeah, they absolutely. Do okay, so we're gonna make the squash. That's the actual spaghetti part now. Yeah, so the crazy the thing oven. about this squash is that it legit makes the spaghetti for you naturally instead of like running it through a machine, you know, like yeah, all that bougie thought. stuff, you know, yeah. like this is like yeah, I thought you nature's would way of yeah. making spaghetti. Wow, yeah. cool. <laughs> super cool. So you're just going to take your knife and you're just going to scrape the inside okay. and notice how it creates mm. the pasta for you. And you know wow. what? I had a little taste of it right now. It tastes so good. The oil makes a big difference. Yeah, it really does. You can make it with butter too, but if you want it less fattening, I would totally use the oil. Yeah. How do you know when you're done? So all of it will come off the sides. Okay. So you uh, could just scrape as much as you're gonna eat. Oh, yeah. Okay. And the rest, the crazy thing is, the rest that you you can save it in your fridge and reheat it in the oven and use it it's all over good. again. Wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, it makes a lot. Yeah, it makes a ton. Sometimes it makes me think of like hash browns. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hash browns. You close your eyes. It's hash browns. It's hash browns and <laughs> potatoes. This tastes better than hash browns. <laughs> yeah, it does. It does. It does. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So, it's a really so, we're all done. And these are our bowls, actually. Wow! Wow! So then we put the meat and fight it. So we're going to do the sauce first okay. and then... Wow, uh, this is such a creative idea. Yes. Yeah. Should I put it in both of them? Yes. Yeah. between the two. Okay. And even if you get some of that juice in there, it's mm -hmm. good, good you know. My mouth's getting watery. Plenty <laughs> <laughs> okay. of protein yeah. to build the muscles. So now you have a bowl made out of a squash. Oh my I'm going to take this around like my meal prep and I'll just be like, <laughs> <laughs> so there you have it guys wow. spaghetti squash with turkey yeah. well thank you so much for having us yes and thank you for thank teaching you us this awesome awesome recipe. Recipe. So, so and it's nice. something you guys so could nice. do at home definitely yes yeah, so we're gonna plan something we're gonna bring our clients in so that oh, they can learn so how to awesome. meal prep yeah. Do, that. Yeah. We'll do that absolutely yeah yes. Definitely. So you guys come check her out. It's called Cooking Time. It's here in Sunland Park Mall. Um, you can set up an appointment. How can they set yeah, up an appointment? Absolutely. Facebook, Instagram. You guys can call me. Um, everything in between. We'll add all yeah. the links to this video so yep. that they can directly just message you and set Great. up an appointment and come in for a date night, come with your friends, come for a bachelorette party. Yes, everything. Like you know, Support local guys and have some fun. Yes, thank you guys.